Asande, asande, asande. Uwe ni mimbo wake Miriam Kimeleko. Unesemi ya kwamba, e mungu usifiwe, e mungu inuliwe. Yaani, viumbe wote, wote wanakusifu. Viumbe wote wenye pumzi, e buwana wanakusifu. Hata mi nashangaa sana, inashangaa sana ma, majabu yake mungu. Yaani, ngupu zake mwenyezi mungu, zote ni zinafanya milima, <laughs> imuimbie mungu. Hata wakati we mwanadamu wanapotoa sauti yako karibu na milima, utasikia milima pia ina, ina respond. Iyo tunasema ini science inafanya echo. Unaona eh? Yaani miti nayo itapata ya kwamba asubuhi ona kila wakati matawi inapeperisha matawi yake. Yaani hiyo ni kusifu Mungu. Ukiangalia maji baharini, maji hata kwenye mito, inapinga mawe yani kile kipita inastoa sauti. Haleluya. Yaani kila kiumbe chote kinamsifu Mungu. Chote kina recognize that God is our Lord. That God is our Lord. Haleluya. So utapata ya kwamba yani viumbe wote wanamsifu Mungu. Viumbe wote wanamsifu Mungu. Wewe mwanadamu wewe ni nani ukose kumsifu Mungu? Haleluya. Hiyo ni jukumu letu kama wanadamu tumsifu Mungu. We have to praise God. We have to worship him without any limitation. Haleluya. Hey. Thank you Jesus. Thank you God. Now. Now we, as we continue with our Bible study. Remember last time I said that we, I I was not talking about uh, never negotiate with your enemy or destroy the enemy of your success and we send that everything good as enemies though that now we send today we come to say never negotiate with the enemy and uh, we talk we, we said that it was Proverbs chapter 22 verse 24 to 25 where, where it says make no friendship with an angry man and with a furious man though shall not go let thou learn its ways and get a share to the soul. No, no. You must face your enemies immediately. Now, I'm, 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 I'm now just now reminding ourselves what we, what we talked uh, 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 in a late uh, time or what we had said. So, you must face your enemies immediately. So, wherever your enemy comes across you, because we send an enemy does not uh, want you to succeed. Eh? He doesn't want you to have a success in your life. Whatever you does, the enemy goes against it. So wherever you realize your enemy, make sure that you confront your enemy. Make sure that you face that enemy immediately. And who are the enemies? We are going to see today who are our enemies of our dreams. The enemies that kills our dreams. The enemies that kills our vision. The enemies that go against our life. Hallelujah. So, I'm preparing you today for this sermon. And we are saying, your enemy is not to be understood, rather to be destroyed. Many people I know, they think that an enemy is just a person. But we are going to see what kind of enemies do we have in our lives, in our daily lives. Who are our enemies? Sometimes we may have our enemies in our inner. Sometimes we may have our enemies in yourself you can be your your own enemy and we are saying you have to destroy your enemy you have to face your enemy wherever you know that this is my enemy hallelujah this is the enemy of my dream this is the enemy of my vision this is the enemy of my mission this is my enemy of my business this is the enemy of my my talent this is the enemy of my what ministry just destroy. wherever you you realize the enemy make sure that you destroy the enemy hallelujah 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 and i'm saying i'm saying the fear of confrontation fuels the situation yani kule kuongopa unaona eh kule kuongopa kwa kumkabili yule yule adui yako kunaleta yes kunaleta kuangamia ama ile situation endelea kuishi, kuishi. unaona eh you must fight back become forceful and decide to win against lack of property remember your achievement is the biggest fear of your enemy unaona eh i'm saying remember that your achievement is the biggest fear of your enemy your enemy always fears that you are going to succeed. You are going to have a success. Make sure that you conquer your enemy in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And I'm saying, I'm saying here, 
So, and he will do anything to stop you. The enemy will do anything to stop you. We are going to see types of enemies that goes against our dreams, that goes against our vision, that goes against our mission. And we are saying, right now, I decree that you will be unstoppable in Jesus' mighty name. Right now, I, yes, I decree you, yes, you are going to be unstoppable in your vision. I decree it in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, now, let us now see enemies that destroy our dream. We are going to see uh, three types of enemies that goes against our dreams, our vision, our mission. And the first enemy in our life is what? Is this the, the enemy? One, wrong information. Wrong information might be. <laughs> yes, wrong information might be your enemy. People may feed you with wrong information. What kind of wrong information have you had? Have you come across with? Yes. What kind of information here can be your enemy? What information? So, wherever you, you are going to come across this information I'm going now to tackle here, make sure that you fight against them. Against that kind of information. Because the information makes sure that you are not going to succeed. Yes. And that is why there above I have said that I decree in mighty name of Jesus that you are going to be unstoppable. You are the vision bearer of your dream. Yes, of your mission, of your business, of your ministry. Wake up. Stand up. Call the name of Jesus. Walk with God. You are going to win. So, what kind of wrong information are we talking about here? We are saying, whatever you keep on hearing, remember, listen here, whatever you keep on hearing, you will be, you will, you will believe it. Because we say, Faith comes by hearing, you know. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of what? You are not only saying the word of God, but hearing. You have that faith. The thing you have heard is true. If the wrong information comes uh, across you and you believe in those wrong information, my friend, you are going to get astray. You are not going to win. You are not going to succeed in whatever you want to go or to do. So we are saying wrong teaching about prosperity, for example, will affect and influence you more than you realize. Those wrong information or teaching about prosperity. You have been hearing people saying or teaching us about prosperity. If you know this, you are going to prosper. If you are going to do this, you are going to prosper. Those are false teaching, my friend. Prosperity comes when you work hard. Work hard and have faith, have determination. Hallelujah. And have a goal. What do you want to attain? What are in five years to come? What will you attaining? Are we together? Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. So we are saying, if this false teaching tells you now, if now you are going to sacrifice, you are going to become a, you are going to prosper in your life. If you are going to do this, you are going to prosper in your life. No, 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 my friend. Those are wrong information and they are your enemies. Remember, and those wrong information will not allow you to, to succeed. That is why we are saying in Galatians, remember what Paul told Galatians. Yes? Told Galatians. So wrong information here. Paul or Saint Paul uh, equips them you know, or uh, he taught them or he, he, he says they are like what? They are like witches. Yes? They are like witchcraft. Wrong information. That is where now our leader wana galatia. Nini wangalatia? Nani waliwaroga? Nini wangalatia? Nani aliwaroga? Good na zame akwamba iya. Wrong information are like witchcraft. So we learned that look at the Galatians chapter three, verse one. What Paul told Galatians? He told them, "You Galatians, 
all Galatians, all foolish, all foolish Galatians, who has who has bewitched you, that you should not obey the truth. Then Galatians refused to obey the truth of God, all the truth. You see, they started now following wrong information, wrong teachings. And that is all Paul is now asking them, who has bewitched you? You have started following wrong information, wrong teaching, you see. So, that is where I have said that wrong teachings are like witchcraft. And that is what St. Paul likens. He likens false teaching as witchcraft. When you listen to wrong teaching about money or wealth, you can never be you can never come out of the cover. Are we together? When you hear or you listen to the wrong teaching of money, about money and wealthy, my friend, you cannot come out of the, this cover. For example, you have heard about wash wash money and you want you have listened, you, you want to listen people don't telling this giving you information about wash wash or many other things there. So those uh, uh, information, and then when, when you believe them, my friend, you are not going to come out it. So others have told you, when you want to become rich, is, is that now worshiping idols or whatever, I'm going to Kwamganga or wherever. Yes, my friend, that is not the truth. Mungaga cannot give you wealth. Mungaga cannot give you good things. Remember, when following Jesus could be the, the, the good thing. Those are the wrong information. Are we together? Erroneous teachings are poisonous. They are mixed with the half truths. And uh, that's why today people have believed that Christians must suffer and stay poor life. You know? For example, many people have been teaching us that, you know, it is good to be poor. When you are poor, you are going to see the kingdom of God. Who told you that God is poor? Remember, Jesus died poor on cross. So that we became what? Rich. We should not die poor. Because we are Christian. In fact, everything under the earth belongs to our maker. Belongs to God. And we were his ears. Hears. So we have to inherit what belongs to our God. And I'm going to tell you this. When the devil uh, attempted a job, you know, he did not increase wealth to job. But what did he do? Yes, he has the permission from God to come and destroy job's wealth, job's children. So don't say that those who worship Satan, they have wealth. Never. In fact, devil is a destroyer. Devil is a, is a thief. He steals what belongs to God's kingdom or to children of God. He steals from it. So, don't say that Christians should die poor. Never. Or should suffer. Those are wrong information. And that is why we are saying many Christians today, they are dying poor and they are suffering. You know? And they were told that the riches of the world belong to the devil and that when you get a lot of money your relationship with god will be broken but have many have many poor people today who are not christians who told you that being rich you become an uh, uh, or you become a god what you are god enemy never those are wrong information when the devil wanted to destroy your job i have said that yes he did not increase his wealth, but where else he stopped his income. That is one kind of uh, enemy you should destroy. Destroy wrong information that are being fed on or in your ears. Never listen wrong information. The second enemy that you should destroy or should never negotiate with it it is demonic friends who are demonic friends remember in our life we come across so many friends i know you have come across many friends 
Many friends could be sent by demon itself. Unaona? So he comes and destroys you. Destroys your, 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 your vision, your dream. So you, you say your friends will strengthen or weaken your dream. They will stress, uh, um, they are going, 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 going to strengthen you or to weaken your vision, your dream. And you are, say, you are saying Satan will always bring people. Remember here, listen here very carefully. Satan will bring people, you, you hear, to you who will never energize you. A wata kutia ngufu. Satani ama defo wata kuletea watu barafiki ya bao. Awa wata kutia ngufu. Kwa kili ambacho unraku kifanya. Kwa maono okonai. You know? But what he will do? They will always attack you. Those friends will always attack you. You must discern the people being used by devil to finish you. No, no. Watu wata kutia karibu marafiki wata kutia karibu sana. Kwa kitu mwana shetani kukumaliza Kumaliza maono yako Kumaliza kila ambacho unataka kutimiza Doto zako Naona And that is Proverbs chapter 13 20 nasema He that, he that works with wise men Shall be wise Always walk with wise men Kana watu ambawe kwenye wano maono Wene hekima Wene maariva These are demonic friends Who are parasites To drain you in every way these demonic friends will always compete with you. They will be miserable and angry when they see your dreams coming true. Those bandit friends, demonic friends, they will never be happy when they will see you succeeding in life. You know? They will always be angry about your success. They will doubt you and point every reason that can cause you to become a failure. Never trust wrong people. Who always step on your dreams. Ah, never allow wrong people to step on you. Hallelujah. Or on your, on your, on your friend. Or on, on your dreams. They will doubt you that is absent. And point every reason that can cause you to become a failure. Wanasema uyu, ataweza, maneno mengi, alianza na hivi, akaenda kule, aliibia kabuni, alifanyia watu, akawaibia, aliingia kwa illuminati, akafanya kile. Never allow those friends, my friend. Pull your socks. Put a lot of effort, whatever you are going to do. Chase your dream. Chase your vision. Make sure that you are, your mission is fulfilled. Hallelujah. And we are saying, never trust wrong people. Always step on your dreams. To discourage you from taking risks towards your goal. We are saying, many people, many imagine, in fact, today, many people don't take a risk. They don't take a risk. They don't want to take a risk. And we are saying, the risk takers will always win. Or they will always become or fulfill their dream or their mission. Don't you don't take a risk of saying I want to go far, I want to do something. Taking risk is, for example, you want to go on the record. That the money already you have collected, go and put into the music industry. Or wherever, whatever case you want to do. Just go and put it there. In a few time or moment, they will be increased. But others don't. Whatever they have money, they want to put it in their pocket. And this money is not working. This money is not working. Put money somewhere so that it can work. Money multiply. Multiply. Yes. So take risk in whatever you do. And put in God first. Never allow these demonic friends. And the last thing. Um, enemy that you should destroy and you should never negotiate with it it is negative ones what are these negative ones many people are be listening to negative ones instead of positive ones they are listening negative ones from their friends or any person who surrounds him or her hallelujah your ones are anointed that is Proverbs chapter 18 21 your ones are anointed 
So you should use your ones your ones wisely and carefully. Because your ones, the ones from your mouth carries what? Yes, blessings. And they also they, they carry life and death. You are saying death and life is lies in, in the in the what? In the power of your tongue. They that love it shall eat the fruit therefore. Walo ambao wanapenda manelo ya ulimi wao wanakuja kupata matunda ya uhai. Your ones can rush you to one's success or failure. Your ones can set a trap to finish you, yet they can as well deliver you from trouble. That is Proverbs 3 of 6. The mouth of upright shall deliver them. Hallelujah. So you sh use your mouth wisely. Use your tongue wisely. Use your ones wisely. Hallelujah. Because we are saying your ones of your the ones of your mouth will deliver you. Hallelujah. They will make you succeed in this life. That is why we are saying in Proverbs chapter what? In Proverbs chapter 18 verse, verse 21, in your tongue, there lies death and life. Use your ones wisely. Your ones create a way wherever there is a stumbling block. Your ones create a way where there is a stumbling block. When you use your tongue wisely and your ones wisely, you can stand in anywhere. And your ones can allow you to be given, oh, oh, yes, to be, what, what, what can I say? People can stand now, can stand now worshipping you because of your ones. Hallelujah. Can stand now worshipping you because of your ones. Hallelujah. Make sure that you use your ones carefully. Because in your tongue, that is lies, death, and life. What can you, can you stop advertising the mistakes you made in the past? Stop advertising the mistake you made in the past. So we are saying in the past, there is a lot of mistakes. So the mistakes that you did, stop advertising them. Those are the negative ones. Stop. You are dogs, and if you are always strengthen your enemies. Never discard them. You are a giant killer, repairer, and restorer of lives. Talk it and leave it. Hallelujah. You may never test success unless you change the way you talk. Are we together, my people? I repeat again. You may never test success unless you change the way you talk. Use your mouth as your deliverer. You are motivator. You are weapon. When you use your ones wisely, you will eat the fruits. Therefore, so use your mouth wisely. Never allow these three uh, enemies to uh, lead you. Are we together? And I repeat, the three enemies are wrong information, demonic friends, and negative ones. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Always destroy these three kind of enemies in your life. And my friend, we are going to succeed. For today, I leave you with this, uh, those ones or the, destroy these three enemies. Uh, wrong information and demonic friends and negative ones. Allow God to educate you or just to, to, to guide you. Hallelujah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Jesus.